Welcome to the first episode of OpenMRS University. We're going to be doing regular screencasts to teach different aspects of OpenMRS development, and I'm sure they'll get more polished as time goes on, but today I'm going to show you how to install OpenMRS as a core developer, meaning someone who's going to be contributing code to the trunk for inclusion in the next OpenMRS release. In the future, we'll do a screencast about how to get started as a module developer, the main difference being that you would check out the code for a specific released version of OpenMRS to build against. But today we're uh, checking out the head revision of Trunk from the repository. So you can get the latest version of these instructions at the link you see on the bottom of the video here, or by searching our wiki for step-by-step uh, -step installation for developers. All right. So, I'm starting out here with a Windows machine, um, a Windows virtual machine that has not had OpenMRS installed yet. Uh, to save time, I've installed the Java JDK 1.6, and I've installed MySQL. The only important thing to remember there is that you need to know your MySQL root password. So, then I've also downloaded and unzipped Eclipse, although I have, I'm about to start it up for the first time here. So this is Eclipse 3.7, or Indigo. Generally, the latest version of Eclipse should work fine, although you're definitely going to want to check out our, uh, check out our instructions to see if there's any particular issues with plugin versions, which have actually tended to be a, well, quite an issue over time. And um, all right, so. The first thing I'm going to do after starting up Eclipse is I actually need to install a couple of plugins. So the first one I'm going to install, I'm going to do this through the Eclipse Marketplace, is I'm going to install Subclips, which is a um, well, which is a plugin for dealing with subversion repositories um, and checking code out from subversion, which is what we specifically need to do here. So I'm going to get this. Uh, plugin as well as all of its sub uh, sub I don't know what do you call these things sub features here. So for what it's worth, um, there's another popular Eclipse plugin called Subversive that I'm told works just as well. So um, you know if you use that already, then feel free to continue with it. Another point uh, while we're waiting for this to download is that you know we're using Eclipse here and historically most of the OpenMRS core developers have used Eclipse but that's sort of a historical point more than anything else if you if you prefer IntelliJ or NetBeans or Emacs or VI then feel free to work with those as well if anything some uh, Eclipse actually has relatively poor Maven support compared to what I would have expected it to have being one of the preeminent um, I, Java IDEs and anyway so other IDEs work just as well but I use Eclipse so that's what I'm showing you here so I'm just going to accept the terms of this sub, uh, Subclips plugin installation so um, if you are running OS X or 64-bit Windows you may need to do an additional step which you can see on our wiki page um, it has to do with downloading 64-bit versions of some of the subversion binaries. Um, but uh, this virtual machine here is 32-bit Windows, so I don't need to do that. All right, so I'm actually going to pause this recording and resume again once this once the uh, software once the plugin is finished being installed. All right, I'm picking up again here when the first uh, time to do interaction, I just need to press OK here to accept the fact that I'm installing uh, unsigned software. Um, and I'm going to restart now after having installed that plugin. Eclipse, generally speaking, gets quite unhappy if you don't restart after installing a new feature. So we start up again, and the next thing we're going to do is install the Maven integration plugin. Um, so this plugin is called, and so I'm going to get this again through the Eclipse Marketplace. Uh, the plugin is called Maven Integration for Eclipse. It was formerly 
known as M2E. So in our documentation and sometime some places in the um, in the app itself, you're going to see M2E instead of Maven integration. So just keep that in mind. Um, I actually want this second uh, search hit here, the one Maven integration for Eclipse by Eclipse.org. So I'm going to install that. And I want both of these uh, features here. Um, I guess I don't really have the choice to unselect either of them, so I will. I'll um, so I will continue installing this plugin. The next step is I'm going to need to install a couple of additional plugins, which I will do through this uh, uh, Maven integration tool. So. Here I'll just say next, I will accept. Um, the next couple of plugins I'm going to need to install deal with actually uh, int uh, connecting the Maven plugin to the Subclips plugin so that uh, we can check out Maven projects from our Subversion repository. All right, so I'm going to once again pause and let time pass while this downloads. All right, so once this plugin finishes installing itself, I will restart Eclipse again. Um, we only need to restart Eclipse about five times in this process here. Uh, on the bright side, once we've got all these plugins uh, installed, we won't have to do this again. Um, the uh, Eclipse uses the OSGI uh, framework, which um, is a way of well, building Java applications out of components that may or may not be present in different installations. Um, and, well, anyway, it does require a restart every time you in, uh, every time you install something new, basically. So now, to install the next plugins, I need to go to Window, Preferences. Um, on the Mac, this would be under Eclipse Preferences, I believe. So under Maven, I'm going to expand this here, uh, Discovery. So this is actually new as of the last month or so. Um, prior to, say, August of 2011, you used to install these plugins in a different way. But all right, so here we go through Maven Discovery, Open Catalog. And the first thing we need to do is get the M2E connector for Maven SCM plugin. So let's see, maybe I can find it by, yep, to just typing SCM. So the M2E connector for Maven SCM plugin. And while I'm at it, I actually want to get, I, uh, I haven't ever tried installing two plugins at once before, but we'll take a risk here. Um, the next plugin that we want here is, um, Actually, yes, is this M Maven SCM handler for subclips. So let's try installing both of these at once. So these are both a tool that lets, the first one is a tool that lets Maven interact with source code management in general. And then there's an additional plugin specifically for handling sub, uh, for working with subclips. So while these download, once again, I'll pause the recording. Okay, so after Eclipse has done some calculations, I can now say next a couple of times and accept the terms. And so this installation is going to happen. Um, there's one more plugin that you will probably want to install, uh, and that you can find documented on our step-by-step -step instructions on our wiki page. It's a, uh, it's I think called Test Case Generator. It's an Eclipse plugin that we've written at OpenMRS to sort of help uh, write, well, help write unit tests um, and link them to the documentation, to the Java doc of methods that you're testing. So you can find more info about that on our wiki. So I'm going to say OK here. Um, You know, you can see that there's actually something going on down here. The software is installing, although um, the the window that I've got open up here isn't showing that. Um, 
All right, so I'll restart Eclipse one last time. And once Eclipse gets started up again, I will have all of the plugins I need configured. So I'm going to sign off from this screencast and you know you can immediately start up the next one where I will actually check out the code and start running it. That happened in the background here. So we've got Eclipse, we've got Subclips, and we've got Maven. So catch you guys on the next screencast.